November 26 attempted coup in the country's capital saw the rise of many popular names, mostly which are connected to the All People's Congress Party. Some of these names, according to Honorable Ibrahim Tawa Kante, Chief Whip 2 in Parliament representing the Sierra Leone People's Party, are also familiar names in the list of people whose release were requested by the All People's Congress Party during the last mediation dialogue between the ruling SLPP and the APC Party relating to the August 10, 2022 insurrection. Okay, I did not mention names out of the blue. I mentioned names that we have submitted as part of the list provided by the APC in respect of the communique signed by the two parties parties or by the parties represented in the Bintumani communique which states that um, the APC and other parties should provide a list of persons that they consider either in detention or are in exile or are either politically exiled or are under political investigation to the SLPP or the government because According to the APC, they had issue with the government of Sierra Leone and the SLPP. The demonstration of August 10 was a faceless demonstration. Nobody took um, responsibility of it. The APC disassociated itself from the entire August um, um, 10 activity. So it, it is, for me, sudden and it is sudden as well for the names of people arrested and maybe have gone through prosecution to be on the list. But it is the list is submitted. Additionally, there were names of persons like Soiba, there were names of Washingai, there were names like um, um, Yeti Yeti, Leather Boots. Virtually all the people on the wanted list were part of the list provided by the APC. They submitted the names of about 377 people. That is about almost 19% of the total people in incarceration at the Palembang Road Prison. So these are the people that they asked for the government to consider to release. In contradiction to Honorable Tawa's statement, Honorable Dr. Umfa Sori Kamara, the All People's Congress Party's parliamentary spokesperson, reiterates the party's disconnection to both events, referring to them as a coincidence which the party cannot be associated with. Well, my take is uh, one, as a member of the party, our party have dissociated itself from what happened on November 26, but not only dissociated itself from whatever happened, we have condemned it as a party. And um, I'm hopeful of the fact that statements coming from the government have been consistent with the fact that personalities have been tied to the coup and not a political party. So for that, as an APC member of parliament and a member of the APC, I'm hopeful and optimistic about where it will lead. Joseph Adumambu, AYV News, Freetown.